Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. As always, if you do like the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I also just posted um, another video in my members only section. So if you are interested in that, you can just press the join button below, or there's also a link for it in my description box. But getting into this reading, so I know this looks like an absolutely crazy reading. Um, but it's actually very, um, specific, it feels, and, um, I got a very, like, clear message from this reading, <laughs> and, um, so essentially, it's some person, um, healing from a situation, and they're going through the healing process now, they're healing from, um, something mentally, physically, and this has to do with a work situation. I'm strongly feeling work situation. It could also be a living situation where finances were involved, but I'm I'm really getting a work situation. Um, and there's something that they were working really hard for. They were putting a lot of time and effort into whatever they were working for um, or working towards, but then they found out something. It was like they heard something. Um, they were taken off guard, shocked by something someone said. They could have heard it late at night. Um, or just like saw something that they didn't agree with and they were like, oh, like I, I don't want to be a part of this, like, or I don't like this. Like there was something that they were unhappy about that they saw. And so they said something like, I don't really think I want to be a part of this. Like I kind of want to do my own thing. Like I don't, like I don't agree with this. And whatever it was that they said, like these, this group of people, like if he said that to them, like they were not happy about this. They were like, no, like um you're gonna like keep this to yourself like keep working for us or keep doing what you're doing like they didn't want him to change his view they didn't want him to like do the right thing or leave this situation um and there's something about like yeah finding out the truth about this group of people like finding out the truth about a group of friends or something and like they didn't want him to share that information what he knew about them um so yeah, and then there's something about, you know, like the Ace of Wands is like sharing feelings and things and how you express yourself, your reputation, things like that. Um, and sorry guys, the cards are so messed up here, but yeah, there's something about, um, there's like a partnership here. There was like a work partnership or some sort of partnership financially where they were working together. But I feel like this Divine Masculine was the one putting in all the effort. Like he felt like he had to do all the work he was putting in so much effort this was a burden now to him to carry that he knew about something wrong going on in this business um this could be definitely something illegal um something where he was not getting paid the way he should have been paid for all the work he was doing like there was definitely something wrong financially in this situation where either money was being stolen used for the wrong things um or just getting given to the wrong people and he wasn't getting recognition for all the work he'd been putting in. Um, and yeah, there was like, definitely this group of people were very on top of him about not speaking up, not doing what he wanted to do. There was also something here about not being able to express himself cre creatively. Like um, there was no passion in this work. There was, it was just very much like do your job, like get things done, make money um don't say anything don't speak your mind that kind of thing um yeah so that's basically what was going on in this situation and um there's something here though about him wanting to stand his ground and his beliefs like this is him against all these people like he was trying to take i feel the high road like there's something about him being like you know like maybe we shouldn't be doing it this way this is wrong or telling them they shouldn't be doing whatever they're doing um something about him kind of standing up for himself a little bit and wanting to express himself in some way or saying something um to these people um yeah so that's what i was saying there and then um when it comes to the six of pentacles this is definitely like giving receiving money um sharing money this can be like money moving through a business or something or money being distributed to people um, and then again, you see right here with the Seven of Swords, this is something shady going on. Like this is something not right, secretive, behind the scenes, w within this business, whatever this is, where these finances were shared. 
something was not right here. Um, someone was doing something they didn't want people to find out about. And I feel that in this situation, this masculine, for a long time, I feel like he kind of kept his mouth shut. Um, he didn't say anything. He just put his head down, did the work or whatever, or stuck around these people and just sort of like sat in the background. He might have felt very isolated, very much like he was trapped here. But I think that he was doing something to try and figure out or get them like catch what they were doing because there's something here about a camera like a family people hotel trying to gain their trust like being patient in this situation something about holding back and someone being a mystery i feel like he was literally trying to just stay friends with this people th this family just to gain insight on them and to gain evidence because we saw in a past reading someone was trying to gain evidence on a situation i feel like that's what he was trying to do like he was hanging around to gain the evidence that he needed to prove something and um this could have to do with something serious as well like i had something about um noise late at night um something about um like rope let me love you like i will never leave you she won't leave me alone i feel like this is also a romantic could be a romantic connection or something inappropriate in the workplace like there could have been someone who was also like a little bit obsessed with him. This person could have been acting wrong in the workplace. Um, they could have been acting inappropriately or coming on to him, you know, like when he didn't want them. Um, yeah, there's something about like someone very obsessive, it seems, something about rope. Like, I feel like he was trying to catch something on camera in regards to something these people were doing. And we even have the death death here, something to do with family. Like, there could have been really serious things going on in whatever this group or community is. And he's trying to get this on camera. And I feel like um, he ended up getting hurt in this situation because in past readings, we've seen things about that. Um, and now there's something to do with healing, right? Like, we have the star card up here along with um, I think something else to do with healing somewhere. I don't know where it is now. Sorry, guys. Um, but anyways, yeah, so he's going through some sort of healing after this situation. Um, you can even see here someone trying to stay on their guard. They have a bandage on their head. Um, so I feel like him trying to find this out, like, um, kind of put him in the line of fire a little bit. Like, he was putting himself at risk trying to get evidence on them, but I think he was trying to stop them from doing whatever they were doing and, you know, standing firm in his beliefs and everything. Um... So yeah, that, that was part of what was going on here. And then um, after this, there's something about a new beginning. Like eventually, I think he got to the point where he couldn't, um, like he didn't want to do this anymore. There's something about leaving the situation. Um, I believe this would be like a very sudden, like saying I'm leaving now. Um, he could have sent them a message or just told them like, I'm done here. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. And when he said that he wanted to leave the situation, we have the Six of Swords here, like, he's trying to move on, move past this, um, situation, and they're trying to tempt him to stay, like, they were probably trying to be like, well, what if we give you more money, what if we, like, do this for you, because I think he played a big role in, like, making them money, they needed him there more than they knew, and so they're trying to keep him around, trying to tempt him to stay in every way possible, and he just wasn't really having it like he was trying to move forward this is the chariot like just pushing past things quick movement travel um moving locations moving from a home or from like yeah a community like I was saying moving away from these people um that's what he was trying to do but they were doing everything to try and stop him right here is the two of swords like they were trying to block him we literally had a card come out of a block um they were trying to block him from taking any sort of action away. They didn't want him to follow whatever his dreams were, whatever his passion was. Like, he was not satisfied here. He was not happy here. This was not what he wanted to be doing. Um, he's trying to follow his passion, what he wanted to do now. Like, that's why he wants this new beginning. He wants more freedom in his life. Um, but they're trying to stop him from doing so. And this wish can also have to do with um, another person. This could have to do with a divine feminine. Again, sorry guys for been saying he, she. Remember, you can always reverse the roles, reverse the energies. These are just energies, um, divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, divine masculine is often the one that's um, 
someone, you know, like your, the energy of like action, movement, doing things a lot, whereas like Divine Feminine's more like in your spiritual energy, being abundant, like um, more of like a yin energy, but we all have uh, both. Anyway, so moving forward, I'm talking about a Divine Masculine right now. But um, so this Divine Masculine is like pretending to be, yeah, pretending to be confident. Like he's trying to move forward past these people and like not let them get in his way or get in his head um there's something about psychic connection like I feel like um he is definitely as we've seen in another reading following his intuition here there's something about him knowing that this is the right path for him to leave this situation like he doesn't belong here literally right we here we have a person with sudden communication saying that they're leaving like they're heading out they're leaving a city leaving a town leaving a job and this is very sudden communication um and this is to do with um like intuition once again this is sharing of feelings this is this card the queen of cups is someone very intuitive the high priestess is very intuitive this is walking away from a situation so he knew very strongly that he didn't want to be associated with these people there's something about um him not wanting his reputation associated with his people he didn't want to be seen in the light that these people are seen in um he just felt like he was not in alignment with these people at all. What they're doing, the wrong things they're doing. He didn't want to be a part of it. So that's why he has this gut feeling to leave and get out of it. And um, yeah, following his passion and ending some sort of commitment with them. Um, and they might be losing finances because he's leaving. Because they said again, like I feel like these people relied on him a lot for his work. Um, and he's moving towards like a completely new beginning and just think about a 10 of cups this is um I think this is actually leaving a family situation behind leaving this group of people behind um and he's following his dream his dream to do what he wants to do his passion um the page of cups is very dreamy like rose colored glasses sort of energy and then we have the knight of pentacles which is very determined determined to move forward and follow what he wants to do and it's about investing his money elsewhere, investing his efforts elsewhere. Like, this was not what he wanted to be involved in anymore. And I feel like he's keeping where he's going kind of, like, under wraps here. It's also about, again, intuition, following what he's being guided to do. And these people are very conflicted about this. They were very upset about this, argumentative about it, gossiping about where he's going, what he's doing. Like, oh, well, we can't have him leaving I don't know where he's going and um I do see that this uh divine masculine ended up getting some sort of legal help or assistance in um ending this conflict so if they were stopping him from leaving they were physically trying to stop him from leaving or threatening him um he got some sort of help like this could be some sort of legal agreement or something but um as you see here, this card fraud has come out in other readings too. So there's some sort of fraud going on. I definitely believe this was a financial issue or something in a business. Um, but yeah, he's putting an end to it. So all of this, this divine masculine just put an end to it. Like that's why we have the healing card as the first card that came out. Because I believe this situation is coming to a close or is very soon to. And there's something right here about um, these karmic people being arrested caught put on trial um I also feel like if he didn't say to these karmic people like he was the one that turned them in or something like they didn't know he was the one that caught them on camera or did all this stuff like I feel like he they might not have even known he's the one that found them out and turned them in um they might have been calling him on the phone to be like oh we've been caught like what do we do like trying to throw him under the bus too or trying to get help from him to get out of the situation but he just, um, I feel like, is not going to respond to that. Like, I feel like it'll be, like, it's too late. He's going to move forward. His decision was made. The Wheel of Fortune happened, which is positive changes. Good luck. Um, yeah, things moving in his favor. Like, this was his chance to get out of this situation, and he took it. And um, I feel like he feel feels like things would move faster. This could be to do with a trial or something. Um some sort of compromise happening maybe these people um like we've seen in other readings maybe these people have to pay them back now because of what they did because of their wrongdoings 
Um, so that could be what's taking some time is just going through the trial and everything. But yeah, he's abandoning these people. They're not happy about it, clearly, temper tantrum. Um, and instead, he's moving towards something else. And that's why I feel like he's moving towards some sort of reconciliation. Um, yeah, clearly his friends don't like you if you're the divine feminine that this masculine seems to be moving towards. Um, but I think you got, like, you're involved in the healing process of this masculine energy. And, um, yeah, this karmic person's not happy right now. Like, we have over here talking to the karmic person. The karmic person doesn't want me talking to you. Um, I don't like you getting all this attention. Yeah, but they can't do anything about it. Like, they could be literally in jail right now. We're dealing with, um, consequences. Earlier today, when I was hearing channel messages, I did want to mention one, um, here. So, if you are interested in channel messages, again, I list and say all of them in my, um membership section of my channel so you can always join if you want more of them so i'll just say the one that i heard for you guys here um so i heard misdemeanor so someone could be in trouble for a misdemeanor um which is like a less slightly less serious crime but still a crime so um that could be like the compromise that they worked out or something someone's getting charged for that i don't really know um I also think someone could have been questioned about all of this stuff that went on. Um, things were found out. Yeah. So, so many cards here, guys. Sorry, I know it's just a little bit wild. I'm trying to show you them all, but there's so many. So, yeah, that's what's going on in terms of um, a karmic situation. But it seems positive. It seems like there's um, healing. Like I said, this is the first card that came out. So, I think the situation is sort of um, wrapping up or is going to be um closing out in a positive way so um good things here and i'm likely going to move on to the next energy because i do have some more to talk about for you guys um it's just like there was so much going on in this part of the reading so i thought i would make it one video so anyways if you do like this reading please comment like and subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye